but and it peaches i love what you brought up about the team sergeant thing but that's a you know we talk about you know kind of how to be a good dude start start with your circle too there should be somebody in your circle i bet there's somebody in your circle with a little bit more life experience that's got a little bit more time under their belt they're a little bit more disciplined than you that person you you know from from both sides, you should be emulating that person in your friend group and you should also if you're that person in your friend group you should be reaching down to those people and going hey man you're kind of screwing this up. Like, it's cool that, you know, you and I have kind of the same goal and I, I'm putting myself in the context of, you know, how do we build the best possible candidate from, from the ground floor? And I'm, I'm imagining this 18 year old that thinks that they know they want to go into app spec war and they're starting it. They get on the discord. So go check out the discord channel or, you know, they find us on Reddit or, you know, they're using, you know, some of these other entities to, you know, you go to a go ruck or you go to a SOCOM athlete or you go to one of these other programs and you, you make these connections, man. If, if you guys are getting together, you need to do that for each other first. We have all these questions about, oh, how do I build leadership? And what? how do I show the cadre that I'm a good team player? Well, you start with being a good team player. You look at your friends and when they are when they send you a text in the morning and they're like, hey, I'm going to cancel on today's workout. You send them a text back. Oh, no, this, you're not. Duh, no, no, you're not. You made a commitment to me. You told me that you were going to be there. That's a contract. You made a contract with me and I expect you to fulfill your contract. So let's go. Because they're going to help you out in the pipeline too, and you can you can be a good dude, and you can put out way earlier just by looking at each other and going, okay, we're gonna we're gonna hit this pool session. It doesn't matter if it sucks. If, it doesn't matter if it's the worst pool session in your life. You never regret training. Like that is not a thing. I I was BSing with a dude in the gym the other day, and he was like, oh yeah, man, did not feel like getting here. To be honest with you, I just kind of went through the motions. I didn't kill myself, and, I, and he was like, but now. I actually feel good and yeah. anything is better than nothing. Like discipline trumps motivation every single time. And you can start instilling those habits long before you even talk to a recruiter. I, I also think it's, it's important to kind of throw out the disclaimer that the, the whole good dude thing, right. Is, is tough. Cause there's so many aspects to it, but mm -hmm. you, you can be a good dude and have imperfect um, characteristics or imperfect um, events in your life or something like that, that, that you have messed up on, you know, um, you know, I always try and use the analogy like, Hey, everybody's been out diving. We come back from dive, uh, you know, diving on the boat. Um, you got all those tanks and the BCs and all the equipment, you know, everybody's equipment bags and, you know, the good dude puts team priorities first, yep. which as in team equipment, washing off the boat, before you're taking care of your own personal stuff. That doesn't mean that one, one or two times in my life, I haven't had a brain fart and grabbed my personal kit first. Right. Yeah. And, and just I know that, off, is, right? that is such a low level, low level example, but, but that's the perfect example. Right, you get done with that long jump at like a water yeah, jump. Day, you're tired. People, people look at water jumps and they're like, Oh my God, that is so cool. No, they are not. That is <laughs> eight hours worth of a work day for 30 seconds of fun. Like that's what that is. Yeah. And it's, it's, you know, pulling, pulling the, the shoots out of the water and stuff like that is, is bagging the shoots, hanging work. the shoots. Yeah. Shout out, shout out to the swims folks for helping us out and doing that kind of stuff. But yeah, right, yep. there are going to be um, moments of clarity and moments of for forgetfulness where you use. And also at the same time, not everybody is going to like you. Right. I know I, shocking, I'm right here. I know I can hear I you. I wasn't going to point it out, but not everybody's <laughs> going to like you. Um, and it also means that even not just, I mean, even your friends, like we, we do things, the three of us where it's like, fuck, you know, like, don't do that again. Or, Hey, that really don't, you know what I'm saying? And that's fine because it doesn't make you a bad dude. It doesn't make you not a good dude. It just means that, Hey, you're human and you mess up. So like, that's, that's I don't know where I'm going with that, but well, being a good dude, like it's when we talk about leadership, right? Like what's the most important part of, of being a good leader is knowing who you are and being authentic to like your leadership style, right? The one that fits your personality and all these other things. Being a good dude is like self leadership and knowing who you are and, and providing value to yourself and to your team in the way that makes sense with your personality, right? So like you might, like if you, if you don't cuss or if you do cuss or whatever, all these other things, like if you're trying to emulate somebody else as like a, a, a good dude or whatever, uh, and, and it doesn't fit with who you are, then 
then then what are you doing? Then you're just pretending, right? And, and don't be pretending. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So people see right through that. If you if you're trying to be somebody, oh, man, if you're trying to be somebody who you're not, oh, right? Man. You're trying to um, exaggerate the things that you have done, or you're trying to like, and I know this person, and I know this person, or, or name drop, like it. Some name dropping can be okay in context. Right. Mm-hmm. But if you're saying, yeah, and then I've got this kind of car and I've got this and I've got this, but like, dude, I don't really care, man. Yeah. Like, stop trying so hard to be somebody who you want to be or sir, or try yeah. it. Stop being somebody you're not or what. Boy, you're if doing you guys great. can't tell, <laughs> I can't tell. I had a very, very late night last night. <laughs> no, no alcohol was involved with, with no. me, but like I had a very late night last night. Shout out to Nate and Kate Gladden. Yeah. Australia, Australia for life. Um, I think what we're getting at here is like, you know, d- during your career, y- you really are a, a conglomeration or you're really a mosaic of the best leaders that you had. You know, Trent and I were laughing about, you know, stealing somebody's, you know, saying like I steal all of Trent's sayings because he comes up with better sayings. But you do that throughout your entire career and you you take those pieces from each leader. You're like, oh, wow, I really loved how they did this specific thing. And in the reverse, sometimes you have a bad leader and you're like, I never want to do that. Yep. Like that's that's almost as important. But, you know, the point is I, I'll tell this story and I won't use any names, but I was I was in the pipeline and there was a leader that I had. And we used to joke about how he had his serious voice. So he would just like be normally talking and like, you know, normal, like, uh, you know, kind of laughing. And then like in front of the cadre and when it was time for him to lead stuff, he'd be like, oh, all right, gents, at, at two uh, zero zero hours, we're going to we're like, dude, just talk. Like you don't have to, you don't have to be, you don't have to play a role because when it's not authentic, like you're always going to have right pieces there. and parts, like about 75% of the things that I say are plagiarized from every good leader <laughs> that I've got in my life. You know what I mean? Like I, I very rarely come up, I haven't come up with anything new. If I did, I'd write a book and go consult for, you know, management firms and make a million dollars, but that's not, I did go have a <laughs> Ted talk. That's not the thing. You right? mean you didn't do like, chat taking GPT? Be- I didn't. I wish I did. Dude, chat P- <laughs> cool. Chat GPT is terrifying. You want to talk about terrifying <laughs> machine learning? If you guys want Skynet, that's how you get Skynet. <laughs> well, um, I, just to put a bow on the, the whole who you have in your circle, you you are who you surround yourself with, right? Mm-hmm. So surround yourself with people that are like-minded, want to get after. doesn't have to be the same thing that you do, but like you mentioned uh, with the gym and all that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. Hey, you getting your workout in like surround your pe- yourself with people that will call you out and hold you accountable on things and help set you in a right to path and call you out on your BS and also give you a, a you know, positive mental attitude okay. going forward. Can't fly with the Eagles. If you're hanging out with turkeys, CZ <laughs> said that. Come on. And, uh, y- yeah, you really are. You're a, you're, you're essentially like the, the sum of the five, you know, people that you hang out with. And that's a, yep. that's a true thing. So. 